I'm going to show you the seven deadly SEO mistakes that are hurting your rankings. These are things that Google hates, but the good news is you can avoid them and I'll show you how. Lock in till the end and I'll give you an easy SEO strategy that can make a real difference for your site and your ranks. Let's get to it. Mistake number one is not fixing technical SEO issues. This is one of the biggest mistakes. Think of technical SEO as a foundation of your website. You wouldn't build a house or a mansion on weak foundation, and you shouldn't build your SEO strategy on a site with technical issues. If Google can't crawl your site efficiently, it's over. It won't index your pages properly, and if your pages aren't properly crawled and indexed, they're not going to rank. It's pretty simple. It's even more important to have a technically sound site because Google can recognize the changes you make much faster. This means that all your hard work on content and backlinks will pay off sooner. So fix those technical issues and you'll start seeing results a lot quicker. The most common technical SEO problems are broken links, robots.txt issues, sitemap issues, incorrect use of canonical tags, missing H1s, insecure content, and more. Fixing these issues helps Google with crawling and indexing your site. You can use software like Search Console and Screaming Frog to help you identify and fix the technical issues. You can also use Labrica and Screppy, which are good for tech audits if you want to use AI tools. Don't forget about using the right schema and making sure your site is mobile friendly. Mistake number two is no keyword map. Keyword map is critical for your SEO strategy. It's the guide that tells you what keywords you're targeting on each page and ensures that your site has a clear structure. Without a keyword map, you risk keyword cannibalization where multiple pages compete for the same keyword, confusing both Google and your audience. And we have keyword cannibalization Google can decide whether to rank one of those pages or neither of those pages. By mapping out your keywords, you can strategically target two to three keywords per page, making sure each piece of content has a clear focus and purpose. This not only helps with ranking, but also improves user experience. Add all of your pages to a spreadsheet and pick a primary and secondary keyword for each page. If you come across pages with the same keywords, those are probably cannibalizing each other. You can also use tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush to find keyword gaps and opportunities, or you can use Nichely for AI-powered keyword research. Mistake number three is ignoring SEO fundamentals. SEO is always evolving, but the basics still matter. Title tags, meta descriptions, headings, these might not all be direct ranking factors, but they're crucial for click-through rates and overall SEO health. Think of it like this, SEO is a marathon, not a sprint. Doing one thing won't move the needle much, but doing all the little things right is where you get real results. SEO is about building trust and authority over time. The more you stick to the fundamentals, the stronger your site becomes in the eyes of Google and your audience. Make sure you optimize your title, description, H1s to improve click-through rates and signal to Google that you're doing everything right as far as SEO best practices. Also, don't forget about structured data and schema markup. Mistake number four is keyword stuffing. If your content doesn't sound natural when you read it out loud, then you have a problem. Keyword stuffing is an outdated tactic that will do more harm than good. Google's algorithms are advanced enough to understand the context and relevance of your content without you having to repeat the same keyword a hundred times. Google had numerous updates targeting keyword stuffing. Instead of that, focus on writing high quality, valuable content that naturally incorporates your target keywords. De-optimizing your pages might sound counterintuitive, but it can actually improve your rankings by making your content more readable and user friendly. 
I've de-optimized many pages and seen them start ranking better right after that. Make sure you use related keywords to your main keyword and this will help you out. Use something like Surfer, ClearScope, or even SEO Power Suite to help you with optimizing your pages and de-optimizing them. Mistake number five is weak silos. Silos help organize your content and establish a clear theme and hierarchy on your site. Think of silos like a well-organized library. Each topic has its own section and every section is filled with related content. Your URL structure, internal links, and content should support the overall site structure. When you do this right, silos help Google understand the relationship between different pages and the overall topic of your site, which can significantly increase your rankings. Check out my AI SEO course about how to structure your site in a way that reinforces your silos. Internal linking to reinforce these silos is also good because it helps link equity spread across your site evenly. Mistake number six is too many low quality pages. Not all content is created equal. And if your site is filled with low quality pages, Google will think your entire site is low quality. We just seen in the leak that there is an overall site quality metric that Google has in its algorithm. It's better to have a few high quality pages than a lot of pages that are fluff. Pages that don't get traffic, have thin content, or outdated should be pruned. Quality over quantity, always. Things like thin content, pages that were written only to rank, pages with outdated information should be pruned because they're not serving a purpose. So make sure you audit your site, identify low performing pages, and decide whether to update, consolidate, canonicalize, or delete. Removing these low quality pages will improve your site crawl efficiency and overall SEO rankings. Mistake number seven is no strategy. SEO isn't about doing random things and hoping for the best. It's about having a clear and structured plan. For new sites, this means building with SEO best practices in mind from the start. For established sites, it means conducting regular audits fixing any issues, and then building a cohesive strategy that aligns with your goals using data. Without a strategy, you're just shooting in the dark. Use data to create an effective SEO strategy. This will help you with setting goals, understanding your audience and what content they like, and this will also help you with planning future content. Also, don't forget about staying on top of Google's algorithm changes and updates. But if you follow these strategies, you won't have any issues with the updates. Those are the seven SEO mistakes that Google hates and how you can fix them. Avoid these mistakes and focus on solid SEO best practices and you'll be set up for long term success. And as I promised, here's an easy SEO strategy to start your results. Start with a solid technical foundation, then create a keyword map and build strong silos in your website. This approach will help you set up a good SEO framework and withstand any algorithm updates. Check out my full AI SEO course in less than an hour to learn more.